like, how do we not talk about that? How do we not talk about how we're completely dismissed out here? I'm not against oil and gas. I drove here in my truck. I am aware of that. But I feel as though it should just be stopped right now and reassessed. Because people assume that this is just desert, but they don't think about the people who live there, people who have lived here for generations. Where, where are we going to go? What's going to happen? Those are questions that you know, come to our mind daily. These places now are just being torn apart, ripped up, it's treated like nothing. And that's kind of how we feel we're being treated. The BLM is offering some of these tribal trust lands for oil and gas leases, not even considering the, the people that live on that landscape. Only the surface was designated as tribal trust lands. The mineral rights remained with the federal government. So you can have a house sitting on trust land with a home site, but right next door to you is BLM public land, and they can, they can drill under your house because you have no rights to the soil under your house. Documents that are presented that, to them, they don't even show where people live on these parcels of land. This is our land. This is what was given to us. After, after people came in and stole our land that we lived on and claimed it as theirs, we were only given a small portion to live on. And now you guys are coming over here and fracking and do as you guys please on our land? Don't duh. No, we don't want it here. It's us as humans, us as people. Our, our lives are at stake. There's increases in asthma. People have been diagnosed with COPD and cancer. Have you seen the New Mexico Department of Health study of San Juan County? The highest cancer rates in New Mexico. It's not rocket science. These facilities, they are releasing the high volumes of uh, methane gases and volatile organic compounds. Like, we know that whole saying, water is life. There are thousands of thousands of pounds of, of methane in the air. And they think the people will, will, will survive through this. You know? They think their, their money is more important than, than, than our lives and our livelihood and the land that we, that we live on. And that's the whole mindset, I guess, of the industry is profit over people. There is lies that we're told to the community member to, to give up their land. So it'll create jobs. It'll help your it'll help your town. No. Twelve to fourteen million dollars was made out here. We don't have any new schools out here. We don't have new parks. We don't even have a fire department. They don't have respect for us. They don't have respect for our land. They don't have respect for our women. People should be more important than oil. It should be more important than gas. It should be more important than than anything else. In July of this year we had an explosion and 36 barrels of oil burned for th over three days right next to a, a small little area of a family that lives there. And instead of coming out and extinguishing it and treating it like a hazardous site, they didn't care. Whereas when I lived in Southeast Kansas, I saw the, the good side of oil and gas. I saw the jobs that were, were brought into the community. I saw when they put in a site, they fenced it off to keep kids out, to keep livestock out. They communicated with them. They had a total different respect for the people in the community. They're First Nation. They were here before we were. Uh, this is their land. We need to be respecting it as such. If you're, if you're in Illinois or Oregon, like, submit comments. That's one of the easiest things you could do to help us out here we shouldn't be afraid of each other and we shouldn't be afraid of the industry. We shouldn't be afraid of speaking for our home.